For our data visualization final project, we aim to aid learners and students from high school all the way through graduate school and beyond in understanding molecular programming. We did this by building an interactive visualization of a chemical reaction known as DNA strand displacement, or DSD. DNA-based programming, like computer programming, involves inputs and outputs. But in this case, the inputs and outputs are DNA strands. If a new strand allows more stable binding, then the less compatible strand will be displaced, becoming the output. And this allows a form of computation. In order to visualize this, we connected the DNA circuit simulator, Kinda, with web animation technology, Observable, D3, and JavaScript to create an approachable tool that will allow users to visualize and learn about the interaction of DNA molecules in a strand displacement reaction. When an aspiring molecular programmer opens the page, they will be immediately greeted by a brief introduction and then quickly get to the main visualization, the DNA base representation and the associated energy graph. The energy graph represents the free energy of the system as the molecule naturally moves towards a lower energy state. The viewer can then press play and see the reaction play out over time steps. The time-based nature of the reaction works to help students understand how the molecular forces, energy levels, and conformations interplay, helping to build a conceptual understanding of the basis of molecular programming. A major benefit is the interactivity, or the ability to pause the reaction and scrub back and forth, effectively controlling the reaction and allowing the viewer to observe why a reaction works. Eventually, one strand displaces the other and moves to a lower energy state, which is the core of what happens on a molecular level in a well-designed DSD reaction. We hope that students will start to get a better conceptual understanding of DNA strand displacement and want to learn more. Thus, more explanations and resource links can be found lower on the page for those scrolling and looking to expand their knowledge on the subject.